Central Coast residents will now have a new option for COVID-19 testing. It's a service that starts next week and will be offered in Spanish, English, and Mixteco, an indigenous Mexican language. KSBY's Claudia Busio tells us more about this effort to get people vaccinated. Community trusted messengers or promotores, as they're also known, have been working across San Luis Obispo County and Santa Barbara County through MICOP, an organization that is making sure there is enough information available in Mixteco, a native Mexican language. That's Abigail Hernandez. She is part of the COVID-19 response team with the Mixteco Indígena Community Organizing Project, also known as MICO. Hernandez is a translator and is making sure the Mixteco community is informed about the pandemic. Hernandez says Mixtecos in Santa Barbara County and San Luis Obispo County, many of whom are farm workers, did not have access to information about testing and vaccines in their native language. Mexico is home to 68 indigenous languages and Mixteco is just one of them. It is mostly spoken in Oaxaca, a state in southern Mexico. Hernandez strongly believes having an office with resources in Spanish, English, and Mixteco can make a huge difference, especially when Latinos were the hardest hit community by the virus. More than 20,000 cases have been reported in Santa Barbara County and almost 8,700 in Slow County. Along with two other translators, Hernandez stops by local markets and laundromats in both counties to share flyers about COVID-19. Starting on Monday, their office in Santa Maria will start testing about 60 people per day on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Hernandez says that with children back in school, this is another opportunity to offer free testing at a place that feels like a safe space. The organization is recommending members of the community to call ahead of time to make an appointment to take advantage of this free COVID testing. In Santa Maria, Claudia Busio, KSBY News. MECOP will be offering testing on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays from 9 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. For more information, you can visit our website, ksby.com.